Looking for something to do, a fun night out? Well, our girl about town, Daisy Gonzalez, has the inside scoop on things to do and see right here in the AV. Take it away, Daisy. Thanks, Hal. Well, the Lancaster Performing Arts Center season is about to end, but there's still a few shows you can catch. On June 6th and 7th, you can check out The Magic Flute. And on June 19th and 20th, how about getting things moving at the Extensions Dance Recital? On June 26th and 28th, you can check out Putting It Together. If you want more details about the shows and ticket prices, please visit LPAC on the web at lpac.org. Staying in Lancaster, Thunder on the Lot is just around the corner, and what's Thunder without entertainment? We caught up with Ron Emar to talk about the entertainment of this huge event. Well, this year, the entertainment, of course, it's Saturday night, the main attraction is Eric Burton and the Animals. But uh, hitting, starting off for them will be Peace Frog, which is a Doors tribute band, been around a number of years, played Laughlin, Sturgis, etc. And on Sunday, we have the Hollywood All-Stars, which will be some of the past members of Quiet Riot. And then we have the skinny little twits on the car show stage, which and you don't let the name fool you, they're great. But we also on Sunday will have Benny, Eddie Mulder's Benny short track racing with motorcycle racing. And on Saturday evening we'll have a, a low rider hop and the burnout contest, which has always been very, very popular. And then we'll have different bands on the stages all through the, both, both nights and both days. Thunder on the Lot begins Saturday, June 15th at 4 p.m. and Sunday, June 16th at 10 a.m. All proceeds benefit kids' charities of the Antelope Valley. Well, if anyone ever told you you're too old to perform, tell them to take a look at this next story. Hal Banfield had the privilege of meeting and dancing with a group of energetic women that call themselves the Boogie Woogie Mamas, who are proof positive that age ain't nothing but a number. Hal? Well, I am so excited here in Palmdale because I get to hang out with the Boogie Woogie Mamas. They've got a big show coming up, and here to tell me all about it, I have Suzanne. How are you, Suzanne? I'm great, just great. Really excited for this show that we're doing. Excellent. Tell me a little bit about it, if you could. Well, we are trying to raise money for the new veterans home that we're opening, and everyone almost in the group has had someone in the military or that's serving in the military now, so it means a lot to us to be a part of this show. And how long have you been rehearsing for the show? Uh, I would say four months. Okay. Mm -hmm. okay. And, how, and how's it coming so far? Great, great, great. Excited about the performance? I'm very excited about the performance. So just to give a little bit of background on the Boogie Woogie Mamas, I've got my other friend here. I'm Joyce Pearson. Joyce Pearson. Talk about the origins of the Boogie Woogie Mamas, if you could. Well, about 22 years ago, my mother used to sit around and play bridge with all her friends. And I said, you guys need to get up and move. So they came and started a group. There was about eight of them. And my mom's the only one, I believe, that's still around. And many of us had mothers that were in the original Boogie Woogie Mamas. So then when she, my mother retired from dancing, I took it over, and I've been doing it for the last 18 years. 18 years. So on average, how many women are part of the Boogie Woogie Mamas? Between 35 and 40. There's always new classes starting every September. And um, it's just a fun, great way to exercise. I encourage everyone to stay young, stay healthy by dancing. So how does one become a Boogie Woogie Mama? I'm really, really curious. Do you think you can show me how to become an honorary Boogie Woogie Mama? Sure, we can teach anybody to dance. Okay, well I'm up for the challenge. So let's get all the ladies involved. Come on ladies, let's get this going and then show me a quick routine here, okay? Okay. Okay, let's get this. You got this, Charles? Okay, what are you doing? We're gonna start by, we'll face him. And we're going to just put our arms up and shake them. And you're going to start with your right foot and go shake. I think I got it. Yeah, let's do it.
So the, the Boogie Boogie Bomb is right here in Palmdale. Come check it out. Your performances are when? Saturday, May 23rd at 7 p.m. May 20... 7.30. Oh, 7.30. 7.30 p.m. So you come check these ladies out. This is Hal Backman from Performing Life. Back to you. Thanks, Hal. Now I can see why those ladies made you an honorary member. Well, the Pondo Playhouse has some wonderful shows for you to see in June. On June 5th and 6th, you can check out Snow White. And on the 6th, there will be a children's art show. And on June 20th, you can check out the Symphonic Orchestra. Summer nights mean summer concerts. The Palmdale Starlight Concert Series is an outside venue in the city of Palmdale. Recently, the city announced its summer lineup and some changes to the event. Dancing with the Stars champion and country singer Julianne Hoff is one of the rising stars who will play to the Palmdale crowd this summer. She's part of the lineup for this year's Starlight Concert Series, just announced. Also joining the bill is American Idol finalist Bucky Covington. Old favorites will hit the stage too, like Air Supply. I'm all out of love. I'm so lost without you. That's a city employee helping us remember one of their hits. Greg Rowley Band will also perform. Rowley was a founding member of Journey and Santana. Como hoy va. The director of Parks and Rec is hoping they'll play that song. The biggest name to hit the stage will be Motown legends, the Four Tops. The mayor is looking most forward to them. Sugar pie, honey bunch. I can't help myself. I love you and nobody else. Besides the fresh lineup, you will notice one other difference to the series this year. Due to the tough economy, the city must tighten its belt. So in order to uh, help that uh, process and, 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 and bring these concerts and, and be able to continue to bring these concerts, there will be a, a paid venue for the Four Tops. No word yet on what that gate fee will be, but because of the popularity of the series, staff says the show must go on. Back at Corson, our attendance was in the hundreds, and, and now it's anywhere between 3,000 to 13,000 people. That's it for me. Back to you, Hal. Okay, well, thanks a lot, Daisy. We've got more Performing Life coming up after the break.